now we are doing home link 7.13 three first you fill out the table here you go this one goes up by six this one goes up by one problem number two is a very hard problem how do you find the rule it puzzled me brain for a little bit but here it is you do the in times six plus five equals out so like two times six is 12 plus five 17 it works you you test it it works now the ordered pairs it says this zero comma five you know whatever two comma 17 you understand like this now we grid zero five what's bother one 11 bugger let's jump down 4 29 is a bug right there now we pull out favorite tool oh no where is my favorite tool what did i do with it i have lost my straight edge i will use the back of book that is thinking okay there you go it looks about like this Number five, when the blah, 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 use the graph, when the X, when the in is eight, what is the out? Okay, when the in is eight, I can't really use my graph because I didn't do that. So if in is eight, I'm just going to use the rule in times six. So eight times six, 48 plus five, 53. That looks like 53. When Y is 64, ooh, more challenging. So if this is 64, I take five away from it, I get 59, right? What times six is 59? That cannot be. Is that really what they want? Ah! It said about how much. So something times six gets me close to 59, that's a 10. That's why it said about not a specific let's move on from this da, 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 da. practice time three and one fifth times two and two thirds yep make them improper that's the way i like i like 16 fifths times three times two is six eight thirds okay maybe it's not a great idea if 16 times 8, that's 80, and 48, that's 128. You can leave it like that. I don't care. If you find out the final answer, it really is 8 and 8 fifteenths. Okay, next. Number 7, 8 and a half times 12. Now, this is a very reasonable problem. 8 times 12, that's 96. A half times 12, that's a half of 12, that is 6. We put together, we get 102. Right? I think that's right. I'm not even going to check the book. I'm just going to boldly and confidently move forward as if I am right. Just like a president. Oh, let's not talk politics. Okay. Number 8, 9 times five and one seventh this is good problem nine times five is 45 nine times a seventh put that over one you get nine sevenths well that's not very hard you can figure this out this is one it's one seven fits into the nine there are two left over so one and two sevenths put these things two together we get 46 and two sevenths and that concludes today's math work. Goodbye.